So this is one of those different videos for the channel, but reading is one of my favorite pastimes, so why not share it? I have no idea how these videos go down, so if you guys like book videos, any of the books I discussed, or reading, give this video a like, and I know to keep continuing making them. Now, let's talk about my stack of books. First book, Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. What can I say? Sanderson hasn't let me down yet. He took the magic ideas from the original Mistborn trilogy and then put them into a more modern setting of revolvers and trains. It's a lot shorter than his usual books. But those of you who read Sanderson know he makes compelling characters and thrilling plots. Trinity by Leon Uris. I always recommended this book years ago by my father and I can't believe I didn't get around to reading it until now. All I can say is, wow. This book is the definition of an epic story. It spans decades, goes from the Irish famine up to the rising. If you're interested in Irish history and thrilling stories, this book is definitely for you. I don't know what it was, maybe it was the romantic setting and descriptions he gives Ireland, but the start of this book has quite a fantasy feel to it, almost like Tolkien's Hobbit. Then the bad things happen. So, big recommend from me. 23 Things They Don't Tell You About Capitalism by Ha Jun Chang. This book is a really easy read for economics, which is a difficult subject for a lot of people. He attempts to tackle some big ideas and then tell you why they're misconceived or wrong. I enjoyed this book. Not completely on board with all 23 things, but great read and very enlightening. The Motorcycle Diaries by Ernesto Che Guevara. This is only a small book, but it gives you a glimpse into the man that Che Guevara was before it all started. It was also a very interesting journey. Himself and his friend traveled up through South America. One of the main reasons I read this book is because I wanted to know more than just the iconic image or a few bullet points. I thought there was a huge gap in my knowledge, but I'll be definitely reading a biography about Che in the future. This was just a small glimpse into him as a young man by reading his diary. And I feel there's way more to him, to the history and just the story around it. This is a very isolated look of what he learned when he was on this motorcycle journey. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. Some books are timeless. Reading this book, it's like it could have been written yesterday, but it's so influential on the genre. And when you open up and start reading, you're just transported back to the time this book is set. I've only started, but what I'll do is I'll just read a story every now and then, maybe once a month, along with the other things that are on my reading list. It'll be more like how I read Bond books once a month. It by Stephen King. I had seen the 2017 It film. Carrie Fukunaga had a co-writing credit on the film. Carrie also has a, another film coming out in April. I have to get used to saying April now. We're all pulling through to Carrie. See you guys. It always comes back to Bond. I really liked the film. I thought the kids were very good. The relationships between them was very believable and it was actually the most important part of the story above the horror. So only a week ago, It Chapter 2 came onto the television and I was watching away and thought, how have I not read this book yet? I am a Stephen King fan. My favorite King book is 1122-63. I will admit though, that is a completely different era of King writing, post jokes, on drugs. I hope that's true. <laughs> but I took this book off my shelf and started reading. I am really enjoying it so far. King uses an interesting device of telling the story of the kids in the 1950s when they're young. Then as adults, they are returning to Derry, rediscovering their past and confronting it in the 80s. Stephen King is probably one of the few authors that completely immerses you in the emotions and feelings and thoughts of his characters. When you're finished reading a King book, you feel like you might have known too much about the people. It's kind of trite and a lot of people say it and you hear them talking over and over saying the location is a character in the story. But in it, Stephen King develops the town of Derry and it does feel like a really lived in location. Then we get to experience it in two different decades, the 50s and the 80s. It seems really reflective of America and how America changed too. He gives a romantic view of the 1950s America, 
white picket fences. Then in the 80s, it's concrete and malls. You get to see the monster's effect on the town of Derry, but also how the decades changed America and this town too. The Old Man the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. This is a great read and you'd fly through it in only a day. I couldn't believe I'd never read Hemingway before. Even in school, it seems like one of those things that they would definitely give you to read. He's been on my list for years and I finally did it. His style is simple, but the way he moves you through the story is so powerful. I try to read a lot and sometimes you just forget information you've taken in. But the images Hemingway creates just stick with you. The hands. Ow. I'm really looking forward to reading another Hemingway. So if you guys have a book that you really like, just comment below and I'll absolutely give it a read. And The Weak Suffer What They Must by Yanis Varoufakis. I've read a number of Yanis's books now. I find them very engaging, whether he's describing something complex like the formation of the Bretton Woods system or his personal experiences as finance minister. This man has such insights, experience and anecdotes on his time as minister. He definitely has a very strong point of view about the world and the type of world we should live in. But I enjoy reading people's works who have strong point of views. It's always good to get different perspectives on everything. It's why we read. I've only just started this book, but I'm finding it very engaging, especially his account of economic history and his angle on it. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. So there you go. These are the books I've read since my last book video. Some of them I really enjoyed, and I definitely recommend them to my viewers for different reasons. Each different book is a great read in their different genres and categories. On a slightly different note, I have two different short stories on Kindle. So if you've any interest in short stories or that medium, take a look in the link below. I don't know, you might think the same, but I feel they definitely wear their influences on their wrist. But I hope you enjoy all the same. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe too. I'm back with more Bond this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.